We are going to make snowballs. They're also called Mexican wedding cakes, and I'm going to show you how I do it. The key things is toasting your pecans. I like to use pecans. I think they taste the best. Um, you have to be careful when you toast these. Do not let them burn. If they burn, take out the burnt ones because it will ruin the flavor of your cookie. So you have to watch this as it's toasting. You can salvage if you did burn some. You could just take a little paring knife and pare down the burnt parts if you wanted to. I mean, if you have a lot, I probably wouldn't do that. You'll learn that lesson. But I'm cheap, pecans are expensive, so I am salvaging these. But, you know, if it's too bad, taste it too. Make sure that they're, they don't taste burnt because you'd hate to go through all this work and have a bad result. That's not worth it either. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to, you can put them in a baggie um, and pound them down. These, some of this is a little too fine. My sister did this. I, when I make my cookies, I like them chunkier, okay? So don't pound them till they're like that. Pound them so that they're like that. By the way, this is the recipe that we're using. So. Screenshot it now. Doubling the recipe, and I'm gonna use two cups of butter. And this is uh, room temperature butter. And I'm gonna add one cup powdered sugar. This is gonna, using powdered sugar, is going to make it uh, very flaky. And we're gonna go ahead and Combine that. I'm gonna cover this um, with a towel because the sugar will go all over the place. Let's give it a second. A tablespoon and a teaspoon of vanilla. And don't forget, put the excess on you. A half teaspoon of salt, and I'm just checking to make sure there aren't any big clumps, and there are. So I'm gonna take those big clumps out. Okay. And adding the pinch. I just saw my note that said I should add more vanilla, so I'm gonna add a good half teaspoon more. Okay, for each recipe batch, you're gonna add in a cup of um, toasted pecans. I'm gonna eyeball this. I always eyeball it and see how much. I like to add it when before I add the flour. Okay, and now I'm gonna start adding my flour. Before adding the flour, I'm I took off the paddle. I'm just gonna get rid of this excess so it can all get mixed in. Okay, we're gonna use four cups of flour since we're doubling the recipe. Again, scooping this in with a spoon and then just leveling it off, not packing it down so that you have a good measurement of flour. I'm gonna do half and then um, I'll do the two cups and then I'll turn on the mixer and then add the two other cups. So this is 
what uh, two cups look like, and now I'm going to put in the other two cups. I also think this needs more nuts, so I'm going to go ahead and add more. Here's what the dough looks like. It's got a nice nut to dough ratio, so I'm just going to take off this paddle and scrape it off. And it is a, a soft dough, but um, you can roll it, but I like to use a, a scoop. That way I have um, an accurate measurement per cookie. I might add in a few more nuts now that I'm looking at it. So I just kind of grab the pecans and just kind of mash it up with my hands. I just want a few more. Okay. You don't want giant pieces, but you don't want powder. Because when you take a bite of the cookie, I like to be able to taste the nuts. Okay, so here's what I like to see. A nice nut to dough ratio. You could see the speckles of the nuts. Not too chunky, not too fine. Uh, that's the benefit of when you make it homemade. You make it exactly to your liking. All right, so I like to scoop these cookies just because it's easier than hand rolling them. And you can put them fairly close since uh, they don't spread. So I just scoop it and kind of put it against the edge so the bottoms are flat. And I just trim away the excess and then just plop it, plop it down into the oven they go. I'm doing two sheets of these so I kind of moved them around so that they're less crowded. You want to put these in the oven at 325 for 10 to 15 minutes. This took actually longer than I thought it would. Um, I ended up increasing the temperature to 350. You want the edges to be golden brown and you know the cookie has been set set up i let these cool completely before i roll them in the sugar otherwise what happens even if it's warm and not just straight out of the oven the powdered sugar melts and it puts on this weird coating so you basically are wasting your powdered sugar so the, my tip is let it cool completely cookies are cool now and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the powdered sugar. So just All right, so it's really easy to sugar them up. Just put them in a container with powdered sugar and I just use a spoon to scoop them. Scoop the powdered sugar over. And it's helpful if you use parchment paper because then you can put it back on the parchment paper and then your mess is really minimized. And that's all you do. There you go. So I'm gonna finish doing these and those and then I'll be done with this cookie. All right, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video and learned something on how to make Mexican tea cakes, Russian tea cakes, or snowballs. But this is how I do it, and it, it's worked out for me for many, many years. We make these cookies every year. They're so good. I'm working on snowballs.